Well, a cold start for a Friday morning out there, but it's really Friday night that everyone's going to need is. to be bundled up. It, you know, here's the thing. Tonight is where we're more concerned about, like, the dangerously cold wind mm -hmm. chills. But right now, the temperatures are in the 20s. Okay, fine, we yeah. can deal with that, but we're we're sliding. It's interesting, because when I, we got here this morning, my mm -hmm. car was reading like 32. Yeah. So we yeah. kind of missed it now that we're inside. Yeah, yes, no, but we most walked people, out. That's right. yeah. so we get mad out there. <laughs> yeah. Right? yeah, there's some people Matt, trying to endure yeah. it out there. We're going to continue to drop throughout, throughout the yeah, day. Yeah, that's the thing. I mean, temperatures are initially dropping as the front goes through into the teens. And you know we're going to have some sunshine. So the temps may kind of like hold there, hovering. Mm -hmm. And then once we get to like mid-afternoon, mm -hmm. down we go into the single digits, and then well below zero are those wind chills overnight tonight. Actually, the actual air temperatures will go below zero as well. So let's take a look at your 24. Now keep in mind, these are just actual air temperatures. This does not include the wind, right? So temperatures in the double digits, barely through the morning and into the middle part of the afternoon. And then once the sun starts to go down, we lose that, right? Even though it's fairly ineffective today. By eight o'clock, we're into the single digits. We're gonna spend most of the night tonight below zero with winds gusting up over 30 miles per hour. So it really is this evening, tonight, and tomorrow morning that if you are going to be outside, you wanna make sure you have every bit of your skin covered up with those low wind chills, dangerously cold wind chills. Tomorrow afternoon, a few clouds start to mix in, a decent amount of sun, look at your temperatures, mid-teens. So we are coming up, the wind will start to ease later on as well. And tomorrow night, it will not be as cold. The wind will be lighter. It's still just kind of normal cold tomorrow night and as we go into Sunday morning. So now let's do the wind chills, right? This is at 10 o'clock this morning. Wind chills, negative four, negative five. This afternoon, as we head into the evening, wind chills at about negative 12, something like that, about negative 20 across the hills. And then it's tonight that the wind chills plummet to between 20 and 40 below. That's why we have the wind chill warning that is set to go into effect in the valley at 10 o'clock this morning through 10 o'clock tomorrow. You can see it includes all of New England with us here in New England being in the core of this cold. So from about seven or eight o'clock tonight through about seven or eight o'clock tomorrow morning, that's when the cold will be the worst of it, right? With wind chills at negative 20 to negative 40, the winds will ease as the day goes on tomorrow and then temps come up into the teens. So especially if you're out tonight, you know, frostbite can settle in within 10 to 20 minutes with wind chills as cold as negative 35 from time to time. Right now we're 23, that in itself isn't bad, but the front has gone through now, the wind has picked up and we have winds gusting up over 30 miles per hour. So you put those two numbers together and it feels like it's seven in Springfield and we already have wind chills below zero from Pittsfield and out towards Albany. You can clearly make out the cold front here, right? With this little area of snow showers behind it. It's all about the wind and the cold as it continues to pour on in here. The saving grace with this winter blast is that it's not going to be around for long. It's today, tonight, and tomorrow. By tomorrow evening, it's kind of normal cold into tomorrow night, into Sunday morning. And by Sunday afternoon, we're going to be into the 40s. So this is not a pattern change. This is kind of a blip in the pattern because we go right back to above normal temperatures next week. In fact, every day next week, I think we at least get to 40 degrees and we're not anticipating any big storms. Our next chance of precipitation may be Tuesday night into Wednesday with a few rain showers. Yesterday we got into the upper 30s. Today, afternoon temperature, maybe about 15. Afternoon temperature tomorrow, 16. But look at Sunday and Monday into the middle 40s. Touch cooler Tuesday, but still probably around 40. And then the rest of next week, it looks as though temperatures stay in the 40s. So obviously first alert weather days today and tomorrow. Then after that, here comes that almost March-like weather for the second week of February. All right, another check of the forecast in a few minutes. Amanda and David, back to you. Dan, thank you. Well, the spring semester begins next week for UMass Amherst students, and this weekend, students will be moving back with those extremely cold temperatures. Western Mass reporter Olivia Hickey has more from campus. The winter break wraps up for UMass Amherst students this week. Students who have headed back